When you upgrade to Open Roads Designer Connect Edition Update 3, which is going to be 10.03.00.41, and you take a look at your plan's production, in particular cross-section sheets and or profile sheets or plan and profile sheets, you're going to notice, for example, here on the cross-sections, the offset labels are missing, the elevation labels are missing, and your station label is no longer showing the value of the station. And so the purposes of this video is to talk about why this is happening and what we need to do to correct it. And so I'm going to use a particular Department of Transportation's environment that was developed with Update 2. And I want to go into the DGN library for their features that contains the setups for their annotations. And let's go ahead and open that file. We're going to navigate now to Explore and down to the annotations. And in our example here, I'll take a look at cross sections. Go ahead and set your appropriate annotation scale uh, for cross sections for your setup and then go ahead and manage that particular annotation group. And so there we'll see kind of an example. And what we want to focus on is the offset labels, the elevation labels, and also the station label. And so if we take a look in this example, we have an entry here for our sheet grid annotation. And there's three things in particular that we want to take a look at. One is your horizontal axis title. We had in the ability in update two to put inside the brackets the word station and it would compute the station. That is no longer supported. That was a temporary uh, fix until we could actually support text favorites. And so we're going to need to assign a text favorite to our horizontal axis title to get our station value back. The same thing on our horizontal and our vertical tick labels. We have now an entry in here for a text favorite for our horizontal tick labels, which in this case will be our offset values. And we also have the ability to assign a text favorite for our vertical tick labels, which will be our elevation values. So in order to do this, however, we need to go ahead and create those text favorites. So let's go ahead and close our annotation manager and then I want to move back over to the file that contains our text favorites which is going to be here in this particular environment and let's go ahead and open that file now that we're in this DGN lib for our text favorites we want to go ahead and access the text placement dialog and go ahead and set the proper text style uh, we're going to do our excess grid elevations first and so I've got my text style set and I want to insert a favorite. So we'll go down to our cross section annotation fields and select OK. And this is going to be a point elevation. And we're going to select master units. And our master units in this example are going to be US survey feet and our accuracy is going to be set to zero in this example. And then we will select OK. And then we want to select that text, right click and choose to save text favorite. And then click in the field to accept that creation. And then we want to right click and rename. Access grid elevations and click out. Then the next one we're going to make is going to be our excess grid offsets. Our excess grid offsets. So we can go ahead and clear out what we have typed in so far and verify our text style is correct. And this time I want to be at the 125 engineering bold center top which is this one. And on here, we're going to select again our insertion field. So we'll come down to our cross section annotation fields. And this time we're going to be selecting our offset field. 
And then for our offset field, again, it's going to be master units and survey fee, zero decimal places. So that all looks good. So I'm going to select that now, right click and choose sec save text favorite and accept in my screen. And then we'll rename this one. And that's going to be excess grid offsets. Press enter and click out. And then we can go ahead then and delete or clear out our screen. The next one is going to be our excess grid station label. And so again, we'll make sure that we have the proper text style set. This is going to be our 250 engineering bold right top. And so that gives us our proper text style. Then we're going to select our insertion field again, and we're going to go to cross section and select OK. And this time we want to choose our point station. And our point station precision is going to be set to two decimal places. And we're going to select our imperial format here. If you want to go ahead and preset your equations. And for this one, it's going to be by name and ahead. And then we'll select OK, select that text, right click, save text favorite, accept, and then we will rename. Excess grid station, press enter, and that will create that one. Now we're going to jump over to our profile. And again, we'll go ahead and delete this. And so the first thing you want to do is to create our favorite for our stations across the bottom. And so again, we'll go back to set the proper text style. This is going to be our 125 engineering bold center top. Then we're going to go to our insertion fields and we're going to select our open roads profile annotation, select OK. And in this particular case, we're going to go down and select our point station, which is here. And for our point station, we want our precision to go back to zero. This is, again, the station labels across the bottom of a profile or a plan and profile sheet. And make sure that we have the proper format of our stationing. We'll select OK. Select that text. Right click. Save text favorite. Accept. And then we will rename. Profile Grid Station, press Enter, select, and then clear out our text. Our next one is going to be our Profile Grid Elevation Label. And we want to go ahead and set the proper text style. And so I'm going to choose this one, right center, and make sure that that all lines up. Looks good. And we're going to go down to our insertion again for our profile fields. Select OK. And you're going to be tempted to pick Z. And then you're going to ask yourself, should I pick Y? In a profile field, Y and Z will both give you the same results in case you've ever wondered. And so it doesn't really matter which one you select. We we'll want to go in and make sure we're master units, US survey fee, accuracy of zero. That all looks great. Select OK. Then we want to pick that text, right click, select Save Text Favorite, Accept, and then we will right click on it and rename. This is Profile Grid Elevation. Press Enter, and then we can go ahead and delete that with the Delete key. And in our last entry, is going to be our profile grid horizontal title. And so on this one, we're going to choose the center top justification again, which is here. And this is actually just going to be placing text. You could have done this with the prefix field if you wanted to, um, but this is just for demonstration purposes. We'll, we'll go ahead and select save text favorite, and then we just need to rename that. So we'll go down and find that entry, 
we'll rename profile grid horizontal title enter and then we can close and then we will switch then back to the file that contains our annotations to plug in those text favorites. Now let's go back to our features file and where our annotations are stored. Expand down to our annotation group. We'll go back to our cross section one first. Manage. And we'll go to our grid entry. And so if we take a look, for example, at our horizontal axis title, we're going to select in our favorite now the excess grid station. And now you'll see that it will compute a station. Don't worry about the number in the preview. That fixes itself when you cut sheets. Then we have to take a look at, for example, our horizontal tick labels, which will be our offsets. And so we will select that favorite. And that'll populate our offsets. And then our vertical tick labels. Is going to be our excess grid elevations. And so now you will see that those are completed as expected. We'll close this one. We'll go to our profile entry for our grid. So we'll manage that. And again, we'll go down to take a look at our particular entries. Let's go ahead, for example, and take a look at our horizontal axis title. And we, like I said, we had the prefix in here, but just as a proof of concept, you can uh, select the favorite here. Because there's nothing computed, you could have done this one either way. What we're going to do here is go to our profile, grid, and our horizontal title. So you'll see it gives us the same results as expected. And then we have our tick labels. So we have our horizontal tick labels, which would be our station values. We'll go down to our profile, grid, and then we have our station. And on my profile grid station, I did originally show two decimal places, which was a mistake. And so I went back to my DGN lib that had my text favorite for my profile uh, grid stations. And I just simply double click the entry and change the fixed number of decimal places from two to zero. And so now when I come back in here, you'll see that I have the correct results. And then lastly, we want to go to our vertical tick labels. And we will select that favorite. So again, we'll go down to our profile, grid, elevation. And now you will see that that entry is correct. And so that corrects our annotations. And a couple of things to uh, be cautious of uh, now that I've shown you how to update your master DGN lib. And I'm going to uh, point out a couple of things here is one of the things that you want to do is go into your sheet C definition files, which typically are in this folder structure. And for example, I'm just going to open up one of these, this profile only 30 scale. One of the things you want to make sure is because you have redefined those annotation groups is to make sure that those annotation groups do not exist in your sheet C definitions. And so, if I go into, for example, the multi-model views here and expand down, I want to make sure that there's no annotation definitions. And you'll see, in this case, there are. I want to make sure and delete all of the annotation definitions and the annotation groups out of my sheet C definitions. This is a very important step because now you've got two versions of the same annotation definition and group but have different sets of properties. And so you need to clean out your sheet seed definitions so that there isn't a conflict. And chances are, if you don't clean them out, you, you will not see your changes that you made in your master DGN lib uh, take place. I would suggest actually cleaning out your sheet seed definition files 
before you even edit uh, your master DGN lib just to be safe. And so that's a, a very important step that you don't want to miss. And so delete your definitions and your annotation groups from your sheet C definition files that are used to generate your plan and or profile sheets. The last thing I want to talk about is enhancement that we did for view rotation independency. And so I'm back into my master DGN lib where all of my annotations are stored. And I'm going to manage an entry here for our stationing. So I'm going to go ahead and bump up our scale a little bit. And so if we go down and take a look at this particular client's entries for their particular curve data. And so you'll see that we have a curve label left and, and right uh, directional arc. And so if I take a look at the settings, you're going to notice a new entry here for view independent. And so what you would want to do, for example, like something like curve data, when we cut particular plan and profile sheets or, or plan sheets, the, the view is going to be rotated. But this particular text, we would not want to see that rotated. And so if you set your rotation option to an angle value to zero and then assign the view independency here to true on this particular entry, when you cut your sheets for your plans, this particular text or this block of text will not be rotated even though the view is rotated. And so that makes it a lot easier for text that should always be horizontal orientation in nature. One final comment on this after you make all of your changes is simply stated, you're going to need to use new data sets to do your testing because if you create your data sets in a prior version of our product, the older annotation properties will be written to those particular DGN files. So as always, as you're doing your development and doing your testing, go ahead and create new data sets to verify your changes.